All right, guys, welcome to level seven, seven of Jumanji, okay? It's July. We're gonna try to make the best of this. I just made this last night. It lights up. I need to clean the mirror, but I'm out of Windex in these two little boxes. So that video should already be up. And I'm about to redo my living room. I ordered like a rug and stuff from Amazon. Gonna change the pillows and stuff. I'm not gonna record all that. I just wanted to say, this is July. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm taking my ginger tea. I link this, I get it from Amazon. Good if you have stomach, indigestion, heartburn type problems. And I'm sorry, I put this in the microwave and I grow it. I don't, I ever fill the cup because I don't ever drink it all. I need to tie my little bow on her. Okay, my, microwave it with your bow on her. And let's drink up. Boom, cup on Amazon too. One of you guys sent it to me. I ordered pillow covers, curtains. This don't go in the, they go in my kitchen and this color rug. I didn't want purple purple, it's like that grayish purple. So guys, they delivered a trash can today. Hold up, I'm super excited about that because it's a recycle bin. But I'm not excited about is I don't have any artificial sweetener, so I'm drinking this ginger tea straight. But yeah. Dropped off a recycle trash, so I'm so heavy. We have so many boxes and stuff that it fills our regular trash and uh, yeah. No, we need something else to put that in because we always have trash everywhere because of so many boxes and stuff. Should have told him to bring two. Yeah. Baby girl, face swimming down. So yeah, nothing's going on. July, look like we're about to shut back down because Texas is popping. Dallas cases are spiking, so I can't see this going good. Okay. All right, prescriptions over here. Um, Yeah, this whole bucket. It's prescription glasses, and look how I just been throwing them in here sometimes, and these are brand new. So let's go. I'm only keeping cases that are like this. This is a pair I've been wearing. Oh, you guys can't see. But yeah, just slide it in there. Organize all of them. Um, go back this way. Like that. This is a, I'm going to throw all that away. I'm only gonna keep these two. And I'm keeping all these rags because I love them. Okay, nothing get your glasses clean like these little um, towels. So yeah, guys, they're all in there. Almost 25 pair. I got a pair on, of course. Probably got another pair of two in my purse. <laughs> all right, guys, so it is the 4th of July. It is roughly 3.01. I'm editing a vlog. Um, I'm not editing a vlog. The vlog is actually ready. I'm trying to find a thumb, do the thumbnail for it. And I had every plan to like get up and try to put on outfits and all that kind of stuff. Excuse me, but we didn't wake up to after one. So now I'm just like, is it too late to get the damn day started? Because I was really considering going to get a room. Um, yeah, going to get a room and just chilling by the pool. But yeah, my anxiety, he won't even let me. So I might just need to chill, bro. I might need to chill. So baby girl is gone. Um, my anxiety won't let me for two reasons. It will be my first time leaving my daddy here. And then uh, the pandemic stuff is just so bad to me. So I'm going to see what I'm about to do. My eyes, my ears are clatter or something I could barely hear um yeah because yeah um, I'm just rambling at this point this month vlog is up I'm loading samples to sell of the shapewear on my website he clean with me you would know that my beauty room is in my garage so somebody decides to build them a little business on the other <laughs> side <laughs> why is it funny on somebody. <laughs> I can have a business too. You sure can. Handle up. Look, look, you clean up your business stuff. It looks a little. I gotta make a mess so I can figure out what's happening first. Oh, okay. <laughs> my little mini air conditioner for the beauty room. This is my overflow, y'all. 
I'm gonna have to get rid of this because I'm gonna need this while for inventory for something. So I'm really gonna have to put all this over in my drawer somewhere. I'm gonna work it out. I got number time. All right, God. So we end up not going anywhere. <laughs> So, yeah, all the sample shapers sold out so fast. Babe was like, what did you say? It was like, it sold out that fast. <laughs> it's uh, like, it's it, literally, as soon as I said something, and people was like panicking, saying, my card is tripping, and it snatched it out the card. Baby girl, it sold out. So, yeah, this made me super excited because this means the launch is going to be epic. <laughs> Dollar Tree, I got a brand new MacBook Air. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm gonna do finish my expenses. So let me show you. Last night I set up the six o'clock trying to do my 2020 expenses because it's time for me to file my 2019 taxes. Yes, I still haven't filed, and it's a beast. Yeah, I'll be having expenses and stuff out the ads because I got seven businesses. I really got seven sources of income, really eight, but one of them I don't put in here because it's a little under the table. <laughs> yeah, I don't snitch on me. So, Nicole got me a binder, which I like. A bi I want a binder like this because I can put 2020 expenses on the front, but I guess I can put it as the first page. And then some um, dividers to separate my different businesses. Um, I guess she's gonna bake a cake or some child. I don't know. She be doing most. Uh, oh, oh, she got a business, so maybe they got something to do with it. This is our work. This is our everything table, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> we been needing a table, but let me tell you, honey. We do everything on this table, so if we get a new one, it's just going to damage it. You get me? And I got these because I had eight orders for the, from the shaper sample. I put like 15 to 20 samples up. I, I don't even know if it was that many, but everybody bought like multiple, so it was eight orders. So I needed these, so let's work. I'm going to send everybody. Um, you can lift this who ordered the shaper because I have a shitload of them and, um, yeah, I gotta push them. I made that scent for men and people not buying them. So I'm gonna do Japanese cherry blossom and then I'm gonna end the collection. I'm not gonna come out with any more scents. Cause cotton candy, a beast. People buy the hell out of that like 10 at a time. So I might have should have just stuck with that one, but I wanted a variety. <laughs> Wearing these shape up packages. I write it on here so when I do my How many ounces equal a pound, Nicole? Thirteen ounces. Both of these can go first class because they are on the pound. Which is better on shipping for me. Guys, <laughs> okay, so that's everything. There were roughly 15 samples, and everybody bought two, so there wasn't a lot. And this is the remainder of the hand sanitized orders that I didn't take to the post office last night. So, yeah, raggedy. Okay, still, this is not really the binder I need, but it'll do. So, let me show you my sources. Come to me by Nikki. I don't need y'all send the numbers. Make them up by Platinum. Platinum Germ Killer. This is all the ways I make my money. Platinum Yoni Bar. Platinum D YouTube. Platinum Jewels on Poshmark. And the last one I cannot share with you guys because I haven't launched it yet. But I'm still calculating the expenses for it. So I'm just going to transfer all this over to here and finish out the rest of the year because I already did the little bit of July and all of June, which June took me two hours. Um, May, January through May shouldn't be crucial because I didn't do much because of the pandemic. I'm going to watch YouTube videos too while I do it. And yeah, this is a little neater. The dividers Nicole got me only had um, five tabs. So my other two businesses um, don't have a tab, but this is better for me because these are the businesses that are making me money right now. I know there's a needle way I can do this. I know QuickBooks and all this, but 
I'm kind of bored, so it's therapeutic for me to sit down and put all this stuff in here. So yeah, it's Monday. Get it Monday. Oh, I forgot water. I'm gonna try to go and give me a strawberry banana smoothie from somewhere, cause I feel your girl feel like her potassium and her magnesium low, and how you really can tell that is your body be cramping and aching for no reason, shakes and shivers and shit. You be cold and. I have to remember that I've been on a lot of medication because of the cyst that I got cut off. If you watch my last vlog, um, two different type of antibiotics, my blood pressure pill, my uh, acid blockers for my GERD, and so I need some vitamins in my system. That's what I need to start doing. I was taking those apple cider vinegar gummies, but one day I took two of them and my stomach like cramped up so bad and I instantly had to use the restroom. So ever since then I've been scared to take them again. So, um, yeah, I'll just be going through over here, girl. But anyway, I'm headed to the post office, and I'm headed to get my sales tax license it's up at the salon, and I haven't been here since March, so try not to tell them how I look off of here, probably dust and everything, <clears throat> but I need it for, to buy supplies for Come To Me by Nikki, and it's at the salon, so I have to go and get that. My daddy had a rough night. The physical therapist was supposed to come today, and he counseled her. And I'm like, why is she not here? He was like, I canceled her. I threw up all night. Y'all ain't heard nothing. That's how tired I am. I ain't heard nothing. Like, I'm so glad, like, he didn't file or nothing. Because, no, apparently nobody heard anything. Uh, Suge is there. Nicole is there. So, I don't know what happened last night. But my dad's problem is, it's like having a child. The doctor specifically told him no fatty, greasy foods for like six months to a year because they cut off two whole feet. Do you know how much that is of his intestines? And he's still trying to eat it. He's still, he's still, my daddy, I showed y'all his trash can the last vlog. Sorry, I keep thinking my face mask getting in the way. It's full of, um, it's full of snack bags and stuff. So I don't know if I need to, if I move all that out the kitchen, my daddy act like a little kid, like walk around like he's so hungry. He's so depressed all day. I don't know what to do anymore, y'all. But my daddy don't eat right. So that's why he always be throwing up and shit like that. He was already throwing up and stuff like that before he had the cancer removed. But they say he's not supposed to be doing it now. So what do you think he can do now is just eat whatever he want to eat and take nauseous pills. And that's not how it works. He needs to watch what he eat. I love these little bags. And this shit is heavy. God dang, I be needing the cold. But let's go. Well, guys, I finished all the expenses. Oh, it's not showing. I don't want to y'all to see new business. Um, and so what I decided to do was add this. I'm gonna punch holes to it, and it has. Make sure none of my. Oh, well, this is all stuff. This um, you can get off the internet. Um, make sure that it has all of my sales tax papers and all of that in here. So yeah, this is um, contour me by Nikki LLC, the DBA for makeup by Platinum, my sales tax license. All this is at the back of it, so I don't have to dig for that information. Ugh, I'm gonna show y'all my number. Dig for that information when I need it. And this so kitty, y'all. I added, and um, Japanese cherry blossom is coming out. I think I told y'all that. And I'm gonna add the Yoni soap and my logo and stuff. I don't know, I'm just bored. Day two of shenanigans with Platt. I'm trying to get rid of this cucumber because it's almost going bad. So, yeah. I'll be scared. I'm going to cut my move like I said. Sorry, yeah. I got potty mat. I don't think it's harming anything, but some of y'all are like, you need to stop cursing. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. I agree with the lots. So, Okay, okay. y'all yeah, can send me from this YouTube. So, your girl just gone. Um, this is the same cup. And of course, what am I adding to it today? Pedialyte. <laughs> this shit gets me right. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, man, it's too, it's too expensive to be wasting though. I made a little lunch, so when y'all always asking me how I'm losing weight, it's a bad angle. Ooh, my breast big, y'all. Anyway, but I, I don't eat food. I don't eat, eat 
no more. No how I stayed out to eat and all that. Now when I get hungry, lunchtime, breakfast is usually like oatmeal, but when I get hungry, I love these little cheese. So I just get one of these and some turkey. No bread or nothing. Real ghetto like, okay? Yeah. We were get our life. So I literally just pinch off enough to where I'm not hungry. My hands are very clean, don't play. Don't know how to eat this in my way. Tell me what the hell I'm doing. Everybody be eating hot wings and pizza pockets and shit. So I'm just take this little piece off like this. With my little cheese. <laughs> I'm Gucci. All right, guys. So I just restocked um, all of my hand sanitizer. I discounted eucalyptus because it's not really selling. Um, they're actually in the order that they sell the most. Cotton candy, birthday cake, uh, lemongrass, eucalyptus, and I'm bringing in Japanese cherry blossom. And you can buy a bundle now, and it'll save you four whole dollars where you get all four. So I'll put the link below, of course. All right, guys, so we're on a mission. Okay, see ya. We out of soap, y'all. Like, Bath and Body Works soap, not Yoni bars and stuff. So we are gonna try to catch this sale. I ain't been in the store, y'all. Not like this, so. Let go. Got a 75% off table. That's all I'm concerned about. I don't wanna get nobody on camera. Y'all, I'm so ashy. Should say put on some sample loads. Right, should. Turn <laughs> my work for me, y'all. Parker are killing me today. Store number two is literally right across the street. All right, let go. Um, um, white for candles. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Let me go over there too. Let's check it out. So many in here. This so is all everything we got on the other side. So they have a set of apples and all candles, but it's like a lot of shit we don't want. This is probably the only thing I would consider, and it don't smell too hot either, huh? You smelled it. They got them, y'all. This is what we're here for. I want a lot. They're putting on my soap. They almost out of the little one. But I'm going to just go and get the big one, y'all. Okay. I'm going to need it. Guys, here's a brief run through of what I got. Not much. This was roughly twenty dollars. Yeah, no coupons for none. They ain't trying to get in the way like that because they probably was hit bad because of Corona. But I got what I went in there for. Girl said I had a surprise and oh, oh wow, oh wow, wow, baby girl, a lot. And for the shaper orders, pretty simple. Do it yourself. If you guys want one of those business videos for me, I got you. Because I can show you how to jump a business and don't be paying people for logos and cards. You can do all it yourself, okay? But yeah. Yeah, look at this for me supporting black owned businesses. Plus a little something else. How I'm going to be lit. This next bottom on the budget, I'm waiting on probably two more packages and then I can record so it. So here's my task for the day. I wish, um, yeah. I have an overflow. All these are brand new products that I need to try or something, you know. But I need this wall for inventory. So I got to fit all of that over here somehow in this section. Um, But most of these drawers are full. So I'm really at a, I don't know what the hell to do. Maybe I can get another one of those drawers. I don't know why this is zoomed in so close. Hold up. Alrighty, maybe I can get another one of those drawers and put it over here behind there. I have no idea, guys. I'm going to work it out. This is about how I store my Yoni soaps because of the size of them. So this is how I store them. This is strawberry and this is two of the face bars. Um, I store them like this um, because if you don't, when you sit them in the shower and nothing is to protect them, they melt fast from the heat. So I want you guys to maximize your soap and get your money's worth. So either get these or the clear 
crayon boxes. They're 88 cents at Walmart, but I've listed these and a couple of other options in my Amazon store. So you guys, bars on milk. Um, but uh, that's not why I came on here. Um, 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 um. Oh, excuse me, but it's been in the shower, obviously. But yeah, that will help you guys because a lot of guys, you guys have questions about how to store them. And this is how I store mine, okay? All right, guys, so it's Sunday morning. I'm quite sure you guys can't even see me. I can't get it light enough, but um, I had to go back to the hospital yesterday. And at this point, y'all, I cry like two times a day because not only am I so fucking tired, y'all, I physically don't feel well either. I told y'all that the last vlog and the vlog before that and the vlog before that probably. My issue is I cannot heal. Like it started with the GERD. I got that under control. Then I got a um, infected cyst. Got that cut out. Got that under control. And now the GERD is fucking with me again. I've had EKGs. I've had scans. I've had blood work done. I've had x-rays done. And it is this freaking GERD. I keep coming under GERD attack. If you have GERD, you know exactly what. You can be perfectly fine. And all of a sudden, you got heartburn, running to your back, chest pains. It's just the worst. And so, I, I, I had to go back to the hospital yesterday. Because when you have GERD and you having the heartburn symptoms, you never know if it's heartburn or if you're having a fucking heart attack. So, um yeah that's what happened to me yesterday so i was under heartburn attack for two days straight even on snapchat it was so bad i was having to hold an ice pack to my chest so nicole was like nah we finna go and go to the hospital so make a long story short i have not slept all week because the shit i haven't had heartburn all week but i've been irritated all week if that makes sense and i finally get some sleep today and my dad wakes me up to order mcdonald's guys like at this point my dad is well he can cook he can move around and so it really really ran me hot because i really really see why i can't get well like it's sunday nicole was leaving out to get her hair he asked her she kept going for whatever reason um i don't understand that because you know what's next but yeah so i'm just laying in the bed right now trying to get my life together because I'm kind of irritated and startled because I finally, finally, finally get some good sleep and got woke up for freaking McDonald's. So, yeah, that's what's going on with me. I'm on two-day bed rest, so I can't do anything strenuous today. But, you know, I really can't sit still, meaning I get up and, like, make some sanitizers or something. And yeah, that's what I'm doing today. All right guys, so this is how I house my soaps, stackable crayon box. That's Southern Tea, that's Platinum Yoni Bar in the middle, and that's the antibacterial bar and baby powder at the top, on the top. Fits in there perfectly, and they won't melt easy. Yeah, look, Japanese cherry blossom. It's my new favorite. I, oh, it smells so good, y'all. I swear it do. Don't sleep on my hand sanitizers. I'll leave the link below. So I decided to do this every Sunday. Every Sunday, honey. So it don't take me two days. If I do it bi-weekly, not bi-weekly. If I do it every week, then yeah. So this is what I'm about to do now. Look at her little bunny work. Got her little fan up in her going with a stand. Okay, Nicole. This is good. Let's just be gonna be packing up to go to the post office. I love this bag. Do I got more packages? Yeah. They all be fitting off of here. So let's Yeah, I swear. I look so bummy today, bro. Well to me. Look, I am my toes look a mess and everything and everywhere I stop. Dude's trying to holler. Like, I don't get it, bruh. I don't get it. Like, I look so damn dusty. Oh, can I get back on the freeway right here? Oh, shit, came right here. I look so damn dusty. Like, my t like, if y'all see my feet, y'all know I'm always ash about a feet unless I'm going somewhere. Man, ooh, man, just ash. 
gas to pay for my gas. I'm like, no, sir, I got it. No, sir. No, sir. So, yeah, okay, so let me tell y'all about my morning. I really need to be at home recording. See, I get these little bright light bulb head ass ideas sanitize my hand. And I just got to run and do it while it's bright on my mind, right? So, I've decided to start making, I can't even show y'all because I'm driving, to start making, <coughs> coincidentally, I don't have on any nails today, or um, the little things for cards when we have long nails, or if you smoke roaches, or if you just don't want to touch the buttons at like ATMs and at the register, you can use the pointed part of it. I've decided to start making those, so I have to go get the supplies. Then I decided to start making uh, bling out pop sockets, not like individually bling, like one big bling on there, okay? And then I decided to start making, oh, no, 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 no. So since I was already in the wholesale area, here go Nicole ass, because I told y'all she's starting a t-shirt business. Well, she's not starting a t-shirt business. She has a t-shirt line, so she figured she'd just get all the stuff to make it herself and then at a, you know, give her something to do and then um yeah so she needed the t-shirts and y'all so i was like okay i'll stop and get them for y'all it was so many t-shirts bro i looked at the text and was like so i had to literally get all those t-shirts and i'm not supposed to be doing all this strenuous stuff y'all get all those t-shirts i had to um carry them all to the car by myself so now my side and my back is slightly hurting again on this side so I'm just like and then when I got to the t-shirt place it was like 30 some dollars worth of taxes I'm like no damn I'm tax exempt so I had to like fill out the form give them my paperwork and stuff so that took a little bit to knock that whole 30 dollars off yes I did so um yeah I'm just not headed back home groceries have been delivered so I have to tell my dad to not pick that stuff up wait to my ear because I know she's still asleep she slept at like 2 o'clock and put the groceries up and then I have to record but I need to lay down first because I need to take my Nexium and a pain pill because my side hurt god dang and um yeah blah 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 so that's been my morning yeah these are the shirts I got earlier them fools didn't even help me carry this shit out. All by myself. For the hurt side, shoulder, back. <laughs> this is some more this side level. This is two more bags, honey. Yeah, it was a lot, y'all. You guys know I talk about these nails all the time. This is my fourth, fifth, sixth pair. Um, I had them, some that almost look like this. And then I had the like marble rainbow ones and then I got the pink bling ones. So I just went ahead and ordered some more because they she um did an event and these are the ones left over. She had some left over. So I just went ahead and ordered me some in advance. Okay, honey. I love them. And they come with hold on. They come with this. I think that's like a buffer or another type of foul, this type of foul, and glue. And that glue works really well for me. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I love every single pair of these. Oh, I just really need to get to work, but <laughs> I got so much going on and so many projects. I can't get on track, but I'm trying. Hey guys, so yeah, running errands for usually like, you know, it's a shutdown. What the hell? Yeah, yesterday and the day before, I had to shut down on y'all. Like my energy level is good and stuff from when I... You know have my little thing so i'm just dealing with a lot of anxiety probably but my side is still a little sore it, it has done this before though like so it's gonna take probably like a good week for that to get back in because girl my brother be fucking me up but um anyway um i'm running errands first yeah i had to shut down these last two days because the deadline for texas i wait every year the last day and they extended it this year and i still waited Girl, yeah, my tax preparer called me. I almost gave me a heart attack telling me how much I owe. Oh, no, I got to find the expenses left and right, blah, blah. Girl, then I reject it. I just be telling you all my business, but I reject it. And the reason was because I got a stimulus check, which 
So anybody who got like a stimulus check before they filed, if they would do like TurboTax and stuff, they're rejecting in the system. So I had to print all that stuff out. Thank God I got a label maker at home. I had to print all of that stuff out, right? And send it off before midnight. I had to print my label from home and make sure it said the 15th before midnight. My, my mailman. So, um, anyway, that happened. So, now I'm headed to drop that off at the post office. I'm headed off of where I get my stuff to uh, make my, my stuff these. And I can show y'all what these are for today because you put your cart right here. Or if you're at the machine, you don't want to touch anything. Or you put your ATM, I mean your cart right here. When you're at the ATM, the gas station, you just snatch it out like that. So I'm headed to get more of those supplies. Then, um, I have to, I had a plethora of things. I had, I have to get air in my tire again. I know y'all like my last one, I had to get air. I, somebody stole my cap thing off so the air won't stay in it. So I need to order another one of those caps. It always slipped my mind. And then I have to take something to shoot Dad's house. So yeah, I'm just out and about. Yeah, can y'all just do some damn iron? I tell y'all wanna play. Here he comes, a big dog mid ass. I said y'all got air. He's my yeah, plenty breeze. Boy, quick play on me, shit. My tire low, I gotta go. Oh, thank you, hear me. Let me run off with that. I can talk to cash money shit, but I can bag it up. Pop, pop, pop. Boy, I can bag it up. I ain't playing. But yeah, I hear my tax return. It's the revenue service. I just went to put the chicken on because I still owe, but it wasn't nowhere near. It was a fraction of what I originally owed. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. They be so surprised when I tip. Y'all need to start tipping because why people be so surprised when people tip them? Like, y'all don't tip people? <laughs> I'm talking to y'all. Oh, I can't get out right here, okay? I'm talking to my y'all like it. But y'all get what I'm saying. People in general. I got a friend who don't even tip and she a stripper. So, I just be looking at her like, girl, you make your money through tips. So, when you go to restaurants and stuff, you don't see the significance in tipping people? Oh, if you watching, I'm sorry, but you need to start tipping baby girl <laughs> okay so yeah i'm headed got the air check now it's time for me to go across town to get these supplies hey the post office is clear ain't nobody out here today boy i couldn't even get in here the other day everybody trying to get some taxes in honey okay. i mean nobody there's no line no nothing i don't know if this can go in here because it's so weird okay hold on so that's done for the day, guys. I don't have any packages to go out today because everything is sold out. But Monday, everything new is gonna be on the site. Hand sanitizers, these are coming to the site. Blinged out pop sockets, the platinum touch, Yoni cleaner, <laughs> it's lit. I just dropped my veneer video and you guys are feeling them guys like they finance, Look at the before and afters. They are very, very affordable, guys. Look at this. Like real veneers are six to eight hundred dollars per tooth. You can get a whole set for that. Like this is simple math, guys. Like I love this company. Like oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. So yeah, I got all of this, guys. I'm trying to organize it, um, put together. It's kind of late, so I'm gonna try, attempt to do it right now, but if it gets overwhelming, I'm stopping. Pretty easy so far. I have two more layers and I'll be done. Then I'm taking a shower and going to bed. I was gonna try to do some organization, but it ain't happening. Did all by myself. Good night. So I just dropped shoes off for my cousin to go camping because I can't go this year. Um, I can, but I just don't want to make myself extra uncomfortable. Uh, my side isn't fully healed. 
um, I'm just getting over heartburn and I just don't feel like I want to sit out in the heat all day and all night on top of like when we camp like the stuff that's made is like hot dogs hot links we fry fish chicken and all that I think you guys have seen us camp before um and I really can't eat all of any of that I could take my own little cooler but it's just a lot so I'm just gonna sit this trip out actually I'm thinking of surprising my auntie though and going down there tomorrow I just know I can't do two days in a row like I barely can sleep in my own bed now I can't I know I ain't finna be able to sleep out on a in a tent on an air mattress so anyway um yeah I got a lot of errands to run I gotta take some stuff over here um so the soaps can be shipped I got a package at the post office and I got a bill to pay so yeah that's what I'm on today y'all but I'm kind of sad I had to drop my baby off and um I don't know I'm just emotional right now damn that made me want to cry and all I did was drop her off to go camping with the family but I guess because I am not going so yeah let me try to keep my mind busy Okay, buddy. But yeah. <sighs> I wish I could show y'all sneak peeks, but nah, nah, nah. But yeah. So this is a thing, because I'm used to having hair. When my dresses droop so much from my breast, I took it like this. I took it like that. You can see the tuck tuckerization because I don't have hair covering it today. But anyway, um, I'm here at real time. I'm just really trying to catch Jonathan and his monkey in action. I really need to see it. I mean, I just, and that's two monkeys. He just got another one. I'm, I'm just getting my life watching these snaps with this damn monkey. So, I want to pet the monkey. So, let's see if I can catch up with him. Got it. Okay, so boom. Okay, so boom. Okay, so boom. Yeah. I dream of this. Yep. What y'all talking about? It's in her. What the? I, did you look? Let's go see. Perfect. That'll be a barbecue and a honey mustard. It's barbecue. Oh, shoot. Ain't the honey mustard? Mm -hmm. They be hating on me. Silver ones, pink, purple, brown, red. Bay wants me to make her one with no bling. Yeah, let's go. I was camping. Very much hot, but it was fun. <laughs> Very much hot. You look a little tan. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so the platinum touch yoni heifers are in. So me and baby girl working on, I wasn't spending any more money. I'm gonna do a uh, start a business on a budget video. But I made these in my laser printer on how to use them. Each pack come with two. And I'm gonna put a sample soap in there. A little bitty sample of the Platinum Yoni Bar. So let's help you a mini a skincare fridge because she's always helping me. <laughs> Open it. Let me see. Will I your skincare fit in there? It's like mini, mini for real, huh? Well, yep. I can just take this out. Can you? I think so. Or, yeah. Okay, girl. <laughs> Don't be popping no uh, cranberry juice and stuff up in there. I know how you do, little greedy. Well, vehicle. Yeah, you like when you go camping and stuff. You just take a little fridge. That's <laughs> cute. They got a little handle at the top. Cute. I ordered one, but I didn't order mine from Amazon, so it's gonna take longer. 
I should have, but I caught it on a Groupon special. It's going to match my room perfectly. I know where I'm going to put it. And Yeah, I knew that, so. I should have got your red. <laughs> and then I gotta have my dad at the hospital and at one and it's eleven fifty. So let me get off the phone and get this order out because I have to take these out of inventory also. So let me get on it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Let me turn this mute. So, I'm dropping my daddy off at the airport. <laughs> I wish. I'm dropping my daddy off at the hospital. Um, he has to get some blood work and a urine sample done. So, I didn't stay this time because he's a big boy now. Um, I got me some handy dandy water because it's hot in these Texas streets. And... I was about to go to the post office and drop a package off and take something to shoot that. And yeah, let's go. The baby's putting my second stand together for me. Girl, they know you cute. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. They know you got this play. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Finally got this down. Finally. I left this open because one of my shapewear it's long so i want to lay them flat like this so yeah uh, gabby just left me and my dad are sad where you what you doing he here eating fish how you warm that up uh, it's his physical therapist it was her, her last time here and she just so sweet we so sad right daddy i gave her a little gift card we appreciate her she said we can call her in the time. Guys, <laughs> I love this bag. My little helper. Right here. You gotta shut in some of your pay. Go get your pay while I zip it. So she already had got her little skincare fridge or whatever. So I got her this for helping me. And your waist beads. Turn to the side. Let them see your waist beads. She got a blue string too. I just got a holler. Shouldn't pay ass nothing. Girl. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm sitting up here painting my Louis Vuitton. Um, another rough month. But I'm trying to keep my mind busy. I got to do this haul for you guys. Um, And I have to do these swimsuits. But I'm painting this right now. Um. Oh, what well, you guys can see. I just painted my Alma. The lights are pretty bad, but I did a pretty okay job. I do see parts, so I'm going to have to go in and touch up once everything fully dry. But I was nervous as hell to do this, and it came out pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to add this Louis Vuitton keychain on here when it dries. I think that's perfect. So that's what I'm working on right now. But this video will be up by the time this vlog is up. So check it out. So guys, I'm finally, finally at the specialist. I mean, I have been trying to see a specialist since May 1st and it is July 31st. Like I had to go to, through two months of hell and pain, heartburn, indigestion, nauseous, not being able to eat to see this specialist. So let's just hope and pray. Hope and pray they can get to the bottom of this today. It's nothing too bad. Um, I'm nervous as hell, y'all. I'm by myself. Um, yeah, it's been a long journey. I'm freaking tired, y'all. I'm really about to cry because I have been sick so long. Um, everybody want to know, how you losing weight? Hell, I'm fucking sick, y'all. I can't eat. So, um, I ain't gonna say I can't eat. I can eat, but so much stuff irritate me now. I watch what I eat. Come in. So, um, yeah, I'm just on a very strict diet and I don't eat after six. I try not to eat after six. Everything is baked, boiled. I dabble in fried food just a little bit to get the craving down. 
I try not to do so many carbs, a lot of greens. And yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting now. So we could have had one person with us, but um, yeah, I'm alone. So yeah, hopefully I'll be back with a good update because I'm so freaking nervous because this has just been going on so long and it's getting worse. So I'm fearing the worst, of course. So yeah. Let's just pray. All right, guys. So, my doctor, my doctor, I don't know. Uh, I guess the doctors and stuff just don't listen to their patients anymore because I went to the ENT clinic, which stands for ear, nose, and throat. I don't know if I explained it already. I'm driving home now, actually. And they checked my ear, my nose, and my throat. But that doesn't have anything to do with my esophagus. If I'm experiencing really bad problems with GERD, I should have been referred to a GI specialist. So I'm sitting in here like I waited two months for this appointment. And Sorry guys, someone FaceTime me. I waited two months for this appointment and I'm at the wrong specialist. I mean, true enough, my throat and stuff needed to be checked because one of my tonsils is real big and I be having a hard time swallowing. But guess why? Because that acid comes back up and irritates my fucking throat. So, the thing say my tonsils and everything is normal. I see my doctor in October for a follow-up. And, um, basically, they was like, I need to see a GI specialist. So, I went into this panic mode because I'm like, lady, I have been fucking sick since April. Let's start there. And I... Ooh, child, shit, is popular. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I said, ma'am, ma'am, I've been going around like this for three months now. I need some freaking help. You gonna refer me to a specialist? Why my doctor gotta do it? Can't, can't the ENT doctor refer me to the GI doctor? Turn the computer around. Let me do it. So, she went and got the GI specialist. Help. Come on, Jesus. All right. So, she went and got the specialist. So, the man coming now, he was like, hey, you doing everything you supposed to do to get this bird under control. You done lost a lot of weight out of the Proof. My blood pressure is good. My weight 215. Bro, when the pandemic first started, I weighed 250 pounds. So I'm watching what I eat. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. It is something going on with me. So the doctor said, the GI specialist said, I'm not losing weight rapidly. He was like clocking the last few times I've been to the doctor and stuff. It's not a rapid weight loss because I look in the mirror and feel like I just dropped. 40 pounds overnight, but I guess it has been April, May, June, July, and that's August. And so, um, he said, I'm not, so he was like, I don't have to worry about it being like something like, well, I ain't gonna say don't worry, but about like cancer or something, because I was like, I'm just losing so much weight all of a sudden. And then I guess since I've been shutting the house, I didn't realize this all of a sudden is like three and a half months. So I guess 30 pounds in three and a half months ain't bad. So... He was like, he came to his little, little show. Then, basically, it boils down to this, y'all. The man told me I shouldn't have stopped taking my medicine. So, basically, what happened was they put me on protonic. I took it for like a good three weeks. And then, you know how you get to feel like you don't need this shit no more. I'm back. I'm living my best life. And what the fuck happened? I cold turkey it. When I cold turkey it, it overproduced acid in my stomach and spazzed me the fuck out. <clears throat> so he said, what I need to do, he said, because I'm not in dire straight. He said, I'm not throwing up. I'm not coughing up blood. He was like, so he don't think it's something internal. He said, what I need to do is stay on my protonic for a month. Quit coming off this shit like I know everything. And then after a month on it, if I'm still having all these problems, they'll do like the GI scan or whatever they do. He said, but the problem is you can't play with that. He said, because like quitting that shit called turkey um, makes your body overproduce acid. So if you got GERD or anything, that's why I'm sharing this. Um, so here's the trial. They set me up for an appointment back in October. But they said if anything happens between now and October, August, September, October, just real quick then go to the emergency room of course but he said what i need to do is test my protonic for a month straight don't come off of it quit playing with the lord's work okay and um see how i'm feeling then 
He said, because I can't give it a fair try if I'm not taking my medicine right. But the problem with that is my doctor was like, don't get attached to the protonic. Don't take it too long. It'll start people bones and stuff start. So it's like, so I guess while I'm taking a protonic, I need to go get a calcium supplement and stuff too. So it don't start messing with my bones. Um. Yeah. My fat ass just need to keep losing weight. I say that. And I'm probably about to end the vlog because it is the 31st and I ain't got nowhere to be. So, love y'all. See y'all in August.